were the newcomer this season. Can you give us the brief one-on-one on your character? Yeah. Uh, so my name, well, my name is Merle Dandridge. <laughs> I'm Merle Dandridge and I play uh, the new paramedic in town, Gwen, and she is uh, the best friend of Jordan, the leading lady, and she uh, went to college with Jordan and TC back in the day, so she has seen TC at his worst. She has seen all of the stuff that, that he has put Jordan through, and um, she's extremely pessimistic about this rekindled romance. and. Um, how toxic that might be for Jordan. <clears throat> and I think she's a little blind to what healing and uh, new stuff that TC might be dealing with. So Gwen comes and she is a fire department paramedic who has come down from Chicago, has gone through her own traumatic incident that she is uh, trying to get away from, and um, looking for a little bit of comfort and healing in her best friend as well. And in the meantime, maybe finding some other stuff down here <laughs> and um, kind of being Jordan's pit bull with, uh, as far as TC is concerned, you know. Based on the episodes we've seen, that's a pretty good description yeah. of how she's behaving <laughs> with the two of them. Yeah. So if you have that kind of backstory with Jordan, does that mean you kind of have worked out all the details, just like in terms of what college they went to and what that relationship was like at that point? Because when we were here last year, mm -hmm. it was almost like an idea that was being explored, mm -hmm. but nobody knew the exact details of, you know, exactly why they even broke up. Right. Well, I think those those details are still rather ambiguous, but I believe we went to college together in Baltimore, and at some point, um, in my mind, in my mind, my ex-husband was in, um, went to college with us as well, and we moved to Chicago together, and that went south. So I believe, and this is completely my imagination, that... Um, Jordan also knew knew the man that I was with previously, and so uh, I think it's even more important for her to be around Jordan and TC because he, I mean, he was there. He he knew me in the day, even though he was a mess. But he he knows me in a different way than maybe some people that that I'd recently met. So this is pre-war TC. Like he was a mess yeah. even before he went away. Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting new detail. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't quote me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, in the first episode, because you get a little snippet of videos that I found. Of, yeah, uh, of, uh, I, I very much enjoyed that. <laughs> I like seeing the two of them dressed up like Harry Potter characters. Right. Very, very funny. And I also think it brings some, some levity to their, uh, their romance that, you know, it wasn't always this in and out... Um, constant tempest between them, that they did have such a, a great and lighthearted uh, connection. Yeah. So now about, how about your character personally? Like, even beyond her relationship with Jordan, is there anything we're going to see her dealing with? Uh, maybe her own relationships or how she fits into this whole environment in here? Yeah, uh, you are going to see a little bit of, of her trying to branch out and do something different romantically. Um, and... Whether or not you see her past, I think that's that's still up in the air. But it but it's a very fertile ground. There's a lot that that can be um, harvested from that. How many uh, episodes have you shot at this point? We're on episode eight. And how many have you read? Eight. Eight. <laughs> I had a feeling. <laughs> Do the writers kind of take your opinion at all and let you work in certain details to the character that you want to explore? You know, what I have noticed is that once they met me and we started working together, that I think they started to see what my strengths, strengths, strengths were. They started to see what my strengths were. Wow. When they met me. One of my later questions was going to be if you have to deal with any of the medical jargon. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so yeah. basic stuff. They started to see what my strengths were and started to, uh, I think right toward that, you know, and see how how Gwen actually fits in into my spirit and my being. And um, I think it's turned into a really nice marriage because the things that, that are coming out of that, um, I just love. I love where they're taking her. So it's really neat. Medical jargon. <laughs> the bane of my existence. Um, <clears throat> 
I will say, I think I've done pretty well with it. I mean, I have a couple of doctor siblings, so I've heard it in my lifetime, but um, there was one day, because I'm the paramedic, I'm always shuttling people in, giving the bullet, you know, letting everyone know very loudly and very quickly what's going on with them. And um, if it's, if somehow something's not firing or connecting, it is a disaster. And that happened to me once. And I think I said something like, she's got trauma here and trauma here, and maybe some trauma down here, and go ahead, it's good. <laughs> and I feel like that would kind of compute with an audience who doesn't yeah. know like all that much about the medical stuff. <laughs> exactly. I don't think any of that will make it to air, but um, it pretty hilarious when I... When it comes out on DVD, we'll get some like good bloopers or something. <laughs> Lord help me. Yeah, How definitely. has it been joining the cast and being kind of the newcomer? Because even when I was here last year, I, I've always said ever since then that this is probably one of the most friendly and warmest environments. So I imagine they'd give you a nice warm welcome. Exactly. When I first came here, uh, I was people were running up to me to give me hugs. They were so excited to have a new quote-unquote sister in the house. And it was really nice to um, already feel like they were ready to welcome the new member of the family and um, that doesn't happen all the time. That really doesn't and I count myself very grateful every time I come to work and I see all of these people who are so talented who um, not only make me feel so loved and wanted every day but also challenge me up my game and and they're also great teachers I mean you see everyone and they have such unique and beautiful gifts and and if you just sit and watch you're going to learn something from every single person, and it's really, really wonderful. How has it been working with this kind of ensemble? Is there anything about your process before jumping into a scene that you've had to change to fit what they're already kind of in motion? I think I've learned to take myself... <laughs> Annabelle is back, <laughs> that little jerk. <laughs> Have you heard that? Be and called? before all the machines like just magically flipped on and started beeping. Are you serious? Yeah, it felt like I, it kind of felt like a Final Destination movie. <laughs> I thought like the, the that table was gonna like move that's and stab hilarious. me. Hilarious. We call we call um, that's like our other cast member Annabelle. <laughs> Anna, Annabelle's back. That little hoe. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? What were we talking about? Just getting into whatever kind of flow they've already established in season oh, one yeah. and how that affects your process. Yeah. The, I think the main thing that I had, the main thing that changed in my process is same preparation, same, um, you know, uh, I think it was the same amount of preparation, same uh, process that I have on my own, but when I come to work, not, not to to um, not take myself so seriously, you know? Just come and um, open your heart and listen and have a good time. That was, those are the biggest things. 